we are in many ways in the most important place in the nation for a black person, period. There is no place in the country that has a more powerful presence than where you are right now. Because you are in Martin Luther King County, the only county named after Martin Luther King or any black man in the whole damn nation. Okay? That means you can impose your will on this county yes. if you took the opportunity to do it. So what does that mean? Should we be saying for every situation, what would Martin do? Huh? If it's Martin Luther King County? Homelessness, what would Martin do? Huh? Crime, what would Martin do? All right? Black Lives Matter, what would Martin say? We have the power, the only place in the nation where a group of black folks can impose their will on the geographical region is right here, the 12th largest county in the nation. It all depends on how we address it. If we simply allow it to be a place that we live and not a place that we control, then we don't get nothing out of it. All right? But I believe that we can take this county and say, let's build a place here where other people, and the problems we got right now is this. I went around every corner of America trying to find the ideal black community where we can point to and say, that's it. That's the one we're gonna emulate. That's the one that's got the pieces together. It don't exist. Hmm. Now, it's ironic that you don't find just one black community in the nation that by accident, all of the pieces came together in 400 years. Mm -hmm. huh? All right? Now, $1.1 trillion of your consumer money going into the white business community is what this is about. Yep. It's almost like drugs going into their vein. They got to have your money. They got to have it. It runs the whole economy now. All right? Your consumer money is that important to them. So what I'm saying is, we need a place in the nation where we can say, let's build that place, let's build that community where we can tell other people, come here and see what we've done. We've got to have an example in America for everybody to come and see. And I, and I think Martin Luther King County can be that place. If we grab the reign of this place and really do something with it. All right, there's power here. This state wouldn't be here for one for black folk. Okay? George Washington Bush, if he wasn't here, leading people across those mountains, this would be part of Canada. All right? If you know the history of this state. Okay? So what I'm saying here is this. This is the only state that was created because the black man was here. This is the only county that's named after a black man. If we don't do it here, where the hell do we do it? So, I would suggest uh, one of the things I'm pushing for is the first thing we have to do in Martin Luther King County is that we need a social service agency that represents black folk in Martin Luther King County. All right? Or you're going to have federal way is going to be another Ferguson. Federal Way is very close to Ferguson right now. All right? That little town is going to blow up real soon. We're going to have people out here with cameras. Okay? So, I'm saying this. We need to look at this county, and we need to say, what do we need to do to build a life for black people in Martin Luther King County? I'm not talking about, it's just get away from this minority shit. Black people. All right? Because yes. every time we talk that minority crap, we get lost. Yes. Every time we go that way, we get nothing. Right, right, All right, right. This community in this city, in this county, up until 1964, no one was responsible for giving us a damn dime. That's right, John. Until after 1964. That means that from 1865 uh, to 1964, we paid taxes, but we couldn't use the bathrooms, we couldn't use the parks, we couldn't be hired. We couldn't do a damn thing with nothing we paid for. So up until 1964, we didn't get nothing from the city, county, and state. No programming, no nothing. It wasn't until after 1964 
that black folks were allowed to work for the federal government, city government, the county government. Yeah. Okay? And then up until 1970, before we actually got into halfway into the system. Yeah. So it's only the last 30 years that we've even been operational in America. Okay? Only the last 30 years. Okay? So what we're talking about here, another thing I want to make sure y'all understand about us. We are not one homogenous group of people. Okay? We are a hundred tribal nations all mixed together. Okay? Now some people get confused with that. Okay? But in my family, I got 11 brothers and sisters. I got four tribes in my own family. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Four tribes. Yes. They might go off on each other anytime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell right, the so truth. I don't know where the tribal animosity comes from. They know it somewhere. That's the I truth. I just don't suppose to like you. Thank you. I just, I don't know where, but I don't suppose to like you. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is, we are not, I mean, I just want to make sure you understand this. Imagine taking every Asian that you know. Chinese, Japanese, Cambodian, all throw them in their bowl and says, y'all all just one people. Right. right. No. No. What? No. Right. Y'all all just one people. Come on. Okay? Yeah. Uh-uh. We had the same problem. Right. We weren't one people. We just came from the same continent. Right. We yes. were not continent. one people. Continent. Yes. So we tried to take a hundred tribal nations and make them one nation right here. Jeez. That's the most extraordinary job that's ever human being has ever done in the history of this planet. Nobody has ever had to do this before. Mm. And on top of that, you have to get your freedom in the land of your enslaver. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ever had to do that. Right. Okay? The Jews got out of Egypt and that that story was halfway through. <laughs> okay? okay? Yeah. Everybody else got out and went someplace to build it. Right. We have to do it here. Well, we don't have to now. With the enslaver, with the ancestors of the enslaver. But all right. Making sure we don't get the resources we need to get it done. Mm -hmm. Now, so don't beat yourself up. Jeez. I want you to understand something. Doing Jim Crow, they burnt your businesses down. Every 10 years, they burnt your businesses down. Yeah. That's why you ain't got the business base. Right. We're the only people that have their businesses destroyed, wiped out, totally wiped out. Mm. No one else has had that happen to them. All right? Because there was a deal made at the end of slavery by the rich white man made to the poor. And the deal was, I'll make sure those niggas never get ahead of you. I don't care about nobody else. They won't get ahead of you. So that deal was what Jim Crow was all about. Okay? And that deal is still being played out right now. So I'm just saying, don't beat yourself up. You've been under some stuff that ain't nobody in the history of the world has ever came close to. And what you have achieved in that period of time is unheard of in the history of the world. Unheard of. I'm so proud to be an African American. I don't know what to do. I'm done. <laughs> Hashtag melanin. One more question. Thank you, Mr. James. That was amazing. And and been thinking about, I guess, King County. And one thing that I also think about is the idea of 